Hello there Aries, welcome back and this is your reading for January 2016. So I hope everyone has had a very good um, Christmas as well as a New Year celebration. So let's just get started here. So I have the Justice card, the Nine of Wands in the reverse, the Nine of Pentacles in the upright position, the Knight of Wands, a lot of energy coming through for you guys. Okay, so let's talk about the two cards at the center of this spread. We do have the Nine of Pentacles, which indicates to me financial abundance. And um, underneath it here is the Four of Pentacles. So one of the things that I am um, getting here is that this is going to be a very successful month for a lot of you. This is uh, basically getting the success that you need, getting that... Um, I'm sensing like if there has been money that is owed to you through legal proceedings or money that is that should have come in through speculation and things like that is definitely going to come through for you and it's going to be towards the end of the month that it actually comes through okay so if you're in any type of a risk taking like either stocks bonds and things like that you are going to get a financial payout and I do feel that if there have been legal issues as well money is coming through so you don't have to worry when it comes to your financial situation um what I am getting here is that the strong message regarding finances and money is you do have enough okay you have more than enough and everything that you have at your disposal it's really really important to know when it is a good time to splurge when we see something that we really want or when we really feel compelled to purchase something or to spend money in order to make ourselves feel good, such as, you know, buying things so that it, it can replenish our mental health, I do feel that this is a month in which you don't have to be so hard on yourself when it comes to holding back on spending. Um, that doesn't mean, you know, going all out and, and spending, buying frivolous things that you don't need. It's not that at all. But I do sense that it is important for you to realize that money is a very transient thing and that sometimes we want to, I guess, um, in a way, it's sort of like, spending money in order to buy peace of mind okay so that can be going to a spa getting some uh, treatment for yourself splurging on a very expensive restaurant or buying that guilty pleasure item that you must have in order to make yourself feel good in order to appease your mental health so that's the first thing i'm sensing coming through and i do feel that once again there's a lot of energy a lot of energy very good energy surrounding this spread. So I do feel that you are going to be overtaxed, okay? What I'm sensing is a lot of movement, a lot of traveling, possibly um, moving house, possibly, you know, helping somebody move from one place to the next. But I definitely see movement back and forth. And because of it, you are going to be extremely fatigued and tired. So if you want to splurge on that, you know, foot massage or full body rub or whatever it is that is going to replenish your stamina and also to just, you know, will be good for your mental health, by all means do it. Um, the best time to do that is going to be like mid-month when I feel that, you know, the, the kinetic energy start, starts to catch up with you and you're realizing that you're a little bit um, exhausted, okay? So that's the first thing. Um, secondly, what I am getting here is for some reason, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a very strong sense that for a lot of you, for a lot of you, um, there is possibly like movement in your home environment. Uh, people possibly moving in and out and I don't feel like it's a physical home environment itself like a roommate moving out of the house I don't sense that but I do feel like family members okay and especially nostalgia for the past wanting uh, wanting things to be to regress back to a simpler place in time wanting to just you know stand still while while and it's it's sort of like the energy where you feel like you're either very very exhausted and i feel that for a lot of you you're physically and also mentally exhausted okay and the ten of swords does bring a, about you know mental exhaustion this is basically being so wound up in your head where you just are 
you don't want to have to think. You want other people to make all the decisions for you. And sometimes that can be a curse or a blessing, but I do sense that for this month, you want to just, um, you, you want to freeze time and you, you don't want life to to be so difficult or you just want to stay still and not have to make decisions and you want other people to make decisions for you. So it's sort of like, you know, being stuck in your head, wanting to overindulge a little bit and wanting time to freeze up, wanting to, to stand still, okay? Yearning for a situation from your past as well. And there's a lot of daydreaming. There's a, just a lot of daydreaming. So the energy here is very, very kinetic. I don't feel there are, you know, major obstacles coming through for this month. It's a very good month overall. Financially, you're pretty much set. If there is a court issue, it is definitely coming up in your favor. So this also indicates to me contracts. This can also be um, if there has been, you know, somebody that has passed away, for example, there's definitely some sort of inheritance, you know, um, possibly you know, a, a, a lump sum of money or some type of um, inheritance coming through. It can be physical items such as jewelry or even, I, I don't feel like a property, but there can be some for a lot of you. Uh, if there has been somebody that passed away, there is some type of inheritance coming through. So I definitely feel that, you know, this is a month in which I don't sense, it, it feels almost like a, um, a month to wrap up things rather than starting new things, okay? It's a very good month to tie up loose ends, to do house cleaning, to sort out your closet, to look at your life and think about what it is that you want to conjure up starting in February. And I do feel for you, life is not going to start, it, it seems as if new things are not really starting until around the end of February coming through and the very beginning of March. January is pretty much like wrapping things up, tying up loose ends, and doing some decluttering. I do feel there is, um, you know, all of these cards are very one person oriented, okay? Every card here indicates one person, which indicates to me this is a time in which you want to withdraw or you want to go inward. You're kind of burned out when it comes to social interaction and festivities. It could be just being burned out from all the holidays, you know, festivities, but all the cards are very, very one person oriented. So if we were to go through the progression here, I'm going to say that no matter what, you're going to be okay. No matter what, okay? This is the, we're ending here the with the Six of Pentacles, which indicates a, a, a situation where you are able to achieve a lot of success, where you are going to be able to basically, if you want to play the hermit for the first three weeks of the month and then come out of your shell by the end of the month. Take your time. No one is going to coax you and you, you, you know, no one's going to force you. I do feel people might try to coax you, but no one is really going to force you to, um, to come out when you're not ready. So if you feel like you need to take time to yourself, definitely do that. Restore your mental health. Do whatever it is that makes you feel good. You know, taking a bath, going for that spa treatment, doing outdoors activities as well, you know, playing sports, or just going for a hike, climb up the top of a mountain, look down at the world, do whatever it is that allows you to have that alone time in order for you to feel secure, in order for you to just be comfortable in your own skin and not have to justify to anybody, you know, your opinions, your likes, dislikes, or even like... I'm just feeling a very burned out energy from you, from social interactions, okay? So it's not a bad thing, but it, it is really important when it comes to your sign, you're a fire sign, for you to retreat inward and just to be sit still and be content and be and feel okay. So no matter what, by the end of this month, you're going to break out of your shell and you're going to interact with other people again. So things are going to be great. Um, the second thing that I do want to mention here is... Um, for those of you who are in relationships, okay, um, this can be if you're out there dating or if you're in a solid, committed relationship. I do feel there is going to be a revival 
in the passion between you and another person. I do sense your partner. This is you here. This can be uh, the Aries male or female. I do feel that you have a very strong, you know, starting out for the first two weeks of the month, there is a very strong uh, stamina about you. And, you know, this is uh, basically the sex drive. And what it is is that um, your partner, significant other, whoever it is that you're dating, might be might seem a little bit distant, might seem a little bit just sort of um, out floating around in the ethers, and you don't you you want more intimacy, basically. And I, I feel like for between the two of you, you want more physical intimacy, and it seems like they might need their space, either that or they want the emotional intimacy whereas you are more inclined to just want the physical aspect of the relationship so this is a, a balance that needs to be worked out and it feels as if this is a the only obstacle coming through between for for those that are you know dating or in committed relationships okay so not being able to see eye to eye with a partner or there might be some financial situations um, where somebody is, you know, just working overtime all the time and you feel that, you know, um, you, you feel estranged from whoever it is that you're in the relationship with. But um, your partner as well, I'm sensing, is somebody who is who has some financial worries at this time, okay? He or she, whoever you're dating, um, it seems to me that they have financial abundance, but they're planning for a major, major life decision it can be you know taking the relationship love uh, to the next level it can be just family planning it can be purchasing a property it, it's some major major plan that your significant other is thinking about so they're kind of ha holding tight to their resources they have financial abundance but it seems as if they're kind of concerned and they're trying to save up so that they can start this next phase in their life, okay? And I do feel that the next phase in their lives is going to be with you. So you don't have to worry. And if they feel a little bit distant with their worries and they feel like they're too stuck in their head, just rest assured that I feel they're planning a future with you. So it's not like they're leaving you hanging or anything like that. Because with the success card, I, I definitely feel that, you know, there is going to be a major... A major next step it's like taking the relationship to the next level okay and it's the solidification of a commitment as well but it can be you know just uh, moving in together it is not necessarily well it can play out as marriage but not necessarily so because I do feel that you know possibly they're they're thinking about you know possibly buying property or thinking about possibly moving away from the urban center or something like that that's coming in the works that would affect both of you in a very positive manner so that's something that there is weighing very heavily on their mind okay um aside from that i definitely feel that this is a really good month for you to make a list of the things that you want you know it, it being january and all but i do feel that you know there's a lot of energy about you and you you want to basically direct the energy in a productive manner rather than scattering it far and wide because i feel like you're you might feel a little bit burned out middle of the month okay so ra rather than scattering the energy far and wide and then burning yourself out it would be very good for you at the beginning of the month to pretty much you know lay out what you want you know get a sheet of paper start journaling write down what you want your year to look like okay what is it that you want to achieve what is it that's important to you and you know go month by month if you must I feel that it is going to be very therapeutic for you it's also going to be able to allow you to to tap into the you know the the fun aspect of life which is that the um, writing out things that you want to happen for you January February and you know every month of 2016 
you're going to start to feel that life is very, very hopeful once again, okay? A lot of possibilities are coming in. You can conjure up many, many things, and you're just going to be very, very excited about the way that 2016 is going to start to unfold. Once we can verbalize and we can write down what we want in our lives, you know, the universe, like I said, will start to shuffle things around to give you exactly what it is that you want. So I would advise all of you to take this time Think it through and, you know, have a have a game plan for what you want each month month to look like, what you want to, co you, to come into your life each month. And it is going to be able to give you a lot of happiness, joy, contentment in 2016, all right? So that is the ultimate advice for January. Um, I do feel that if there has been, if there has been, you know, um, I'm sensing... I'm sensing if there has been a situation where a significant relationship in your life, okay, and this can be with somebody who is either of a fire energy or an earth energy. So fires are Sagittarius, Leo, another Aries, but I do feel, you know, possibly Sagittarius, Leo, or an earth element, which is um, Cancer, Capricorn. Taurus Virgo, if there has been arguments, if there has been stall communication, I definitely feel the communication is picking up. I definitely feel there are going to be people coming through for you, especially for those of you who are single. This is a really favorable card, and the fact that it falls right in the middle of the spread indicates to me the, the power of attraction. Okay, this is somebody who is, this is your energy you are appearing as somebody who is very confident, who is very happy being on their own, who's very grounded, who has everything you you know he or she needs in 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 life. So because you're in this frame of mind, you are attracting people who are very like-minded. So this is a card of, you know, attracting people without even having to lift a finger or coming across as somebody who's very competent who is very attractive, who is very self-contained. So you have a very stable energy about you, and you are attracting other people to you. The thing that I do sense is um, there is almost an element of feeling a little bit overwhelmed, feeling a little bit burned out socially. So you might want to keep people at arm's length, and you might want to, you know, just... Um, Retreat within yourself is the same message that I'm getting. So there's nothing wrong with that. And I do feel no matter what, you're going to come out of your shell, okay? For those of you who are single and thinking about dating, there is a very, very strong fire sign, fire energy, earth energy coming through. And it looks favorable to me. It definitely looks favorable. I feel that a lot of you might be in established relationships or might just... um have recently, very recently, gotten out of a relationship and you feel like January, you're not just yet ready to date, okay? The Ten of Swords here does indicate, you know, I'm, I'm not going to skirt this issue. It di does indicate something that is still plaguing heavily on your mind. And it's, um, you know, this is traditionally, it's feeling very disappointed, being stabbed in the back and feeling as if things are not going your way or feeling the betrayal from another person. However, it is surrounded by very, very good cards. So I do feel that this is a mental energy that you need to work through. And this can not just be physical exhaustion, feeling as if, um, you know, burned out from the holidays or just feeling the physical exhaustion. This can also be just getting sick, so I do advise you, if for those of you who are experiencing, you know, physical symptoms, physical pain, splurge to get some type of treatment or to get a massage or to do something to pamper yourself. You're going to feel a lot better, okay? So overall, the month is very good and it is going to bring you a lot of success on the work front. Financially, you're going to be on top of the world. So don't worry about a thing, okay? Splurge on whatever it is that you feel will make you feel good. And I do sense that um, with Aries, you're sensible enough when it comes to your financial you know, obligations that you're not going to overexert yourself and spend more than you have. So whatever it is, find the simple things in life and you know, go for a hike, do whatever it is that you feel you need to do in order to create that alone time for yourself. Now, I do feel that for a lot of you, um, 
you might have children and you it is difficult for you to find that alone time okay splurge on a sitter just just do it I, I do sense that you need some alone time this month in order to sort through some things that that might where you might feel burned out okay so whatever that the case is for you I do feel for your the sake of your mental health try to get some alone time it is going to make you quite happy all right and try to get away from like congested crowded places and spend some time with yourself all right I do hope that um, you have a wonderful new year and 2016 looks to be a very very splendid new year for you so please take care of yourself Aries um, if you'd like a private reading please um, look into the description box below and visit my website where you can you know view my online schedule as well as book a book an appointment for yourself or you can just shoot me an email at temperatestar at gmail.com. I am definitely back and I will be doing private readings. I'm also offering the email reading. I haven't worked it out yet, but um, once it is up, then it's um, you can schedule it. So I'm still working on that, all right? So take care of yourself, Aries. I'll talk to you soon.